aviation. My dad was a B-24 pilot in World War II, came back, had a full career as an air traffic controller. Even as a little kid, he would take me up to the tower and I could watch all the planes come and go. However, one day, I caused an event that I never lived down. <laughs> in the 50s, all phones were black. And as my dad was visiting with someone, I saw a red phone. So at age four, I go over, I pick it up, I go, hello. What I didn't realize, just taking it off the receiver, set off the alarms in the fire department, oh. the doors were coming up, the fire engines were coming up, they were asking, where's the crash? My dad said, this is a drill. <laughs> and it was initiated by my four-year-old son who wanted to talk to you. And my dad had some very clear advice at that point. Don't touch anything! <laughs> Another time I was there, it was about dusk, and my hands stuffed in my pockets. One of the controllers said, see on that panel? There's a there's a knob. Yeah. Turn it. And my look up at my dad and he says, Okay. So in airports there are blue lights over along every taxiway. So I went over and I turned that knob and hundreds of lights across the entire airport brightened. And I thought, Whoa, serious power. Well, through life, I enjoyed having a variety of a variety of let me start with when we went on vacations, there was always an opportunity to go flying. And one of those was when we went to the Baroque Forge and when we went to different places, we would take helicopters. In fact, when we went out to California, there was a way to get to the uh, Catalina Islands. We could have taken a boat. We took a four-engine seaplane. So down through our time together as a family or when I was at a conference, I would go through and look at different uh, brochures and think that looks fun and a couple examples of that was uh, basically going over the rock formations in Sedona, Arizona. There was an opportunity to do a um, going over Let's switch to racing, right? <laughs> That's not going well. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be in racing as a spectator. And that came to pass for 20 years. I was involved in the National Howard Rod Association drag races with a 72 Chevy Nova. I also had an opportunity to do track events with different car clubs, and I had two old 944s. Time when I was getting the training based on where the turns were and, and the breaking points and the turning points, my instructor said, squealing tires are happy tires. And I want to hear them squealing every corner. And he taught me how to come into a corner, forward, come out of corners, engine screaming, tires go roaring, and I was actually getting a head start on the straightaways, and I did quite well. Relational support, what on earth does that mean? Well, most of the time, I was a HR director, and basically encouraging people and giving them support was what we did. However, oftentimes people they don't want to be seen going into HR and talking to the HR director. So I would take my pad and a coffee 
come in, I would just go around the office, 80,000 square feet, visit with people, and some one would say, you got a minute? That's where I'd make my appointments. So you've heard a bit about aviation, racing, and relational support, which I still do. I have an LLC, and I'm still meeting with people on an individual basis to help them with career assessment or life situations. So those three topics are important to me. Madam Postmaster.